You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for Survivor Series. Yes. The only time of year that <laughs> Raw and SmackDown go head to head. Yup. <laughs> oh, man. Right. But um, yeah, this should be a really good show. It's got a really good card. Yes. A lot of potential great matches mm-hmm. going on here. Well, I mean, to be fair, Survivor Series, their five on five men's was fantastic last year. Yes, that was a very good match. Yeah. Um, but but it's funny because the just like the competitors in it this year it just feels more it feels bigger mm-hmm. yeah but also i think kurt angle being a part of it helps yeah it, it's something different I mean, um, we weren't expecting it you know if you would have said told me six months ago yeah kurt angle's gonna be in survivor series I'm like, what it's true same thing with triple h though yeah so it, it's that's you know a whole nother thing. Yep. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's get started with the one confirmed pre-show match. There's going to be at least one other match. You think? It's a two-hour long pre- pre-show. Is it? Yeah. No, no, it's a one-hour pre-show. It's okay. a start time at 7. Are you sure? Yes. Pre-show at 6, start time at 7. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Oh. No, I, I, I could have swore that they said it was a long... Unless the pre-show's at 5. I know I, it's starting at 7. I'm almost positive that it said the pre-show starts oh, at 5. Okay. So, well, I know it's a four-hour show, that's for sure. That I do at know. Seven. Yes. I'm pretty sure the pre-show's two hours long for this, though. All right. So yeah. what pre-show match do we have, Matt? Uh, it's going to be Kalisto versus Enzo Amore for the Cruiserweight title. Ah, oh, man. What is ah, man? I don't know. Just... The one match I really don't care about on the pay-per-view. That's why it's on the pre-show. Yeah, but sometimes I care about the pre-show matches. Um, I, I don't see Enzo dropping the title. No, 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 he's not going to lose. Not going to happen. Yeah. They've got too much stock in the man. He's also got the best uh, sidekick ever. <laughs> yeah, I hope he comes out and cuts a promo. Hmm? He should. Uh, no, definitely. Especially after getting snubbed from... Uh, it's on the pre-show. The last uh, pay-per-view. He was supposed to have his PowerPoint presentation. Oh, yeah, that's on right. Helena, no, uh, t- TLC. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Enzo, I'm guessing Enzo's you're going to win. Yes. Uh, so where do they go from here with Enzo? Well, just find another opponent. Yeah. I There's really... I can't think of any any other... Well, there was talk about Hideo Itami coming up. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's could be potential other... But is this what they're going to do? Are they just going to start bringing people up and putting them in the main event you know uh well a tommy would yeah i don't know about other people i don't but. know how well he's gonna get over to be honest um he's I been th- having a tough time in nxt with well they after could, his injuries he keeps obviously. on losing losing momentum well yeah that's a big part of it yeah so that that's the biggest the biggest problem with him is that he Comes out, he's big for a little bit, and then up, oh, he's hurt again. That's it. Out for a long time again. It's like, oh, who is this guy? Yeah. So that's that's really what the mm-hmm. what the problem is. All right. So bring uh, us to the next match. All right. So uh, we're, <clears throat> uh, obviously there's no confirmed order, so we're just gonna go down the list. Uh, up next is the U.S. Champion Baron Corbin against the Intercontinental Champion The Miz. Who do you think is gonna win? It's a tough one to pick. It is probably the hardest one. Because Baron Corbin could really use the victory. Yes. And Miz doesn't need the victory. It's true. But Miz has talked a lot of shit. Yeah. (laughs) So you would think that he kind of needs to back it up. Right. And do we have... I'd assume Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas will be ringside as well. Obviously. Yeah. But does Baron Corbin's size kind of negate that? I know. But every time we think they're going to do something with Corbin, they... Uh, yeah, he they, ends up getting squashed ends, by Yeah, Johnson, exactly. You know. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Um, are you going to pick The Miz? Um, I'd like The Miz to win. Okay. I'm not sure I think The Miz yeah. is going to win. I actually think that Corbin has a chance because of the way that he's getting yeah. shut down. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go with Corbin. All right. So we both think Corbin's going to yeah. win. Yeah. I think that... It, it's the best outcome to have um, Corbin go over because the Miz looked great going into the right. build, and you know the Miz's character doesn't need to be tough no. to actually win. No. 
Um, so up next, we got Charlotte versus Alexa Bliss. Obviously, the champions of their respective mm-hmm. brands. Um, so what do, you, what do you think? The goddess versus the queen. I... I don't know. I don't see see Alexa stealing a victor here, but there's there's a possibility. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to go with Charlotte. Going with Charlotte? Yeah. Um We have to keep in mind that since there's two different brands, we would imagine that the matches are gonna be kind of consistent in terms of win loss. Lost. Yeah. So I don't know. I, <laughs> okay, so I picked two SmackDown, and I know that yeah. two Raws that are probably going to happen. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I guess the... Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll continue. Okay. Um, I was just kind of making a note on that. Um, I'm going to go with Alexa Bliss. They're really high on her. They are. So I, I think that this would be a great place for her to pick up a, a win. She's been talking a big game. She, you know, has been great in terms of character mm-hmm. and everything. Oh, absolutely. So, and there's a, a very good chance that between her and Charlotte, they could put on a great match. And uh, so I'm hoping that uh, Alexa picks Both. up the win. Yep. And that kind of proves that she is indeed the best. The goddess. And I, I, can live, I can live with that. Oh, yeah. I, I don't, I'm fine with either yeah, winning. There's, I just, there, there's just... not a whole lot of... Uh, there's no, there's, there's really no bearing no, on who wins or loses. Yeah, there's the no match. really right now. There's no weak champions. No, should have been unless, just bra- unless you, rights. Yeah, unless you just unless you call Enzo a weak champion, yeah, but, but he's, he's not, not really a weak champion. No. Um. So it's a weak title, not a weak yeah. champion. Uh, up next, we got the Usos versus Sheamus and Cesaro again, tag team champions of mm-hmm. their respective brands. Yes. Uh, so what do I you think? I think th- this has the potential to be a really good match. Oh, it's going to be a good yeah. match because the Usos are turning face. Mm. Um, so while they're not going to have the same ferocity that they have been showed that mm-hmm. they can do in the past, James and Zara will. Yeah. And they're going to be doing whatever they can to, to win, which actually could bring out, um, the same in the Usos technically. Yeah. So, Going with the bar. Going with the bar? Yeah. Um, I'm inclined to agree. Um, and I, I feel like the Usos are going to drop those titles soon anyway. Yeah. And I think that Sheamus and Cesaro probably will keep the train rolling for a while. Um, because, A, I don't think Dean and Seth are going to go be going for the title again no, anytime uh-huh. soon. Um, so, just because of... I'm sure there's going to be some kind of storyline involving them and Roman that right. keeps them away from the, the tag titles. Mm-hmm. And I think, well, Raw needs a better tag division. They're very lacking right oh, now. Oh, they have nobody. They have, yeah. Literally. I, I, I mean, I think the revival is set to come back soon. Yeah. And I don't know how far out Jeff is. Yeah. So, actually, they might be in the title picture then if yeah. they have nobody. Yeah. Because there's, I guess it's possible. Yeah, because the revival is a heel tag team, and they're still heels. Mm-hmm. So unless they, yeah, I can't. And we've seen an, we've seen a, a decent amount of Gallows and Anderson in the, yeah. the bar. But oh well, yeah, again, yeah, that yeah. doesn't mean anything. Yeah, so, WWE. Whatever. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we were both going with Champs and Cesaro. Mm-hmm. Uh, so up next, we're gonna go with uh, Team SmackDown versus Team Raw with the women. What do you think? All right. Well. And first, we have to say that the fifth member of Team SmackDown has not been confirmed yet. Yes, that uh, we do not know who it's going to be for sure yet. Much like when AJ became champion, we kind of figured that Jinder was going to be the fifth man on Raw. Oh, yeah, because no one would, had not been confirmed who the fifth member was. Right. Um, SmackDown, you know, Natalia losing the title, you would think she would go on Team SmackDown. Yes, but... However... You know what would be cool? Hmm. They had like a qualifying match. Oh, like on the pre show or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, where it would be, I guess, Natalia versus Lana. Mm. And possibly. Really scream. Uh... <laughs> no, but, you know. Yeah, no, I guess. It's you. on the pre show. And it'd be different because they usually don't do um, two matches in one night anymore. Yeah, that's true. Um, you could put her or the two of them and then possibly Paige. Right. Although I don't, I don't think know. she would make a, a 
a debut on the pre-show. No. So maybe they'll just announce, like, the whole pre-show, they'll go, we don't know who the fifth person's right. going to be. yeah. And then the match comes up, and then Paige comes out as the, the fifth member. That's probably going to be what happens. It's possible. I mean, she was supposedly on Team Raw, or, or on Raw. Yes. But also, we know that they can do I whatever they raw want. roster. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Um, but they, they also... Even though originally, when I think they said that she was on coming back at SmackDown. Yes, so. which is... It <laughs> could be that she was only at Raw just because she wanted to right. be there. Mm-hmm. Or it could be this is what their plan was all along. That's just what, the audience. That's what I mean, yeah. though. They could have just had her there, just having her around. All right. Regardless if Paige is on the team or not... Team Raw is winning. Yes, that's. Um, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Well, a Oscar's on the team. Nia Jax, they, the the those two, they really don't want to have them look weak. Um, last year, they were able to eliminate Nia Jax, I think, without yeah. making her look bad, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, SmackDown, their team is doesn't have their i guess their strongest built person on it now it doesn't yeah so really there's losing charlotte was a huge blow yeah but again wwe's playing the whole time yeah it it very well could have been um because becky is the biggest name now and they obviously have proven that they that while they like becky they don't really (laughs) feel that she needs protection yeah um all right so up next we have the the men's elimination team yeah this or is, match this could be another tough one to call well i think because there's people that could possibly cost either side well yeah because kane could get involved and cost raw so we're gonna have a straw man mm-hmm. jason jordan could also he could but i don't see that happening just because i think that they're gonna lead um any kind of confrontation between him and kurt until yeah raw later on because i would assume they're going to build triple h and kurt angle yeah that seems that seems inevitable yeah but that that kind of gives you a right that he wouldn't get involved yeah well that and that means that since raw lost mm-hmm. that now angle and triple h have legit beef right so i, th- I think that team smackdown winning honestly is the is I think I think it's a lot easier to justify having SmackDown win mm-hmm. than having but, Raw win. But then you have Owens and Sammy, where their whole character has been, or their you know storyline has been them being left off of Team SmackDown, so them getting even. I don't. I I think it's more of them just not liking Shane. Yeah. So if they can find a way to involve or get involved, but unsuccessfully. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or if one they attack someone from before the match, similar to what happened last year in the women's. Yeah, Bell, well, let, Bell let's say for argument's sake, they take out um, they took take out Shinsuke and uh, and Rude. Yeah, and then they have to be part of the match. Mm-hmm. So it's those two: okay. Cena, Shane, yeah. and um, oh, Orton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That that could, could be happen, a thing. Yeah, I I think SmackDown's gonna win. Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you. Yeah. Just it makes sense, especially considering there was a stipulation that if Kurt lost, he was and, gonna get fired, yep. which could lead to him being a competitor. I guess. Yes. So I think that that's the that's the the best way to yeah. go about it. I think we're gonna differ just on one match. <sighs> this one? No, the Charlotte Alexa Bliss one. Oh oh oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm like what? No. Yeah. Uh, so, Silly. So up next, we have probably one of the biggest matches. Absolutely. Of the, uh, the New Day versus The Shield. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> it's, it's not really a big surprise who's going to win this match. No. Um, obviously, The Shield is going to go over. Yeah. Um, it's hard to uh, have a team lose that has three former multiple-time world champions yeah. on the team. Although, I, I we forgot to mention this. Uh, when the new day was out, they were talking about how um, oh they, they, how the shield had thirteen championships between them, mm-hmm. but the new day had like twenty seven. Yeah. Most of them were Kofi. Kofi. We haven't awesome. done much. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. So that, but yeah, Kofi was also never a world champion. No. No. Um, no, no. 
So, but yeah, the shield. Yeah, there's no way they yeah. don't go. We, we knew they were getting back together and steamrolling. Mm-hmm. So, the build has been great. It's oh, gonna yeah. Be, it's going to be a it's fun be match. A, right, right. So, there's now, nothing wrong with it. Is this just a regular six man or is this like an elimination? It's, a six it's just man, a six man, right? It's yeah, probably it going to be. Yeah, I guess They so. hit the triple power bomb on um, maybe Kofi. Yeah. Or probably maybe, Kofi or Woods. Probably not Big E. No, um so but yeah that's just gonna be how mm-hmm. the match ends i wonder if it would be like a tornado tag that'd that be would cool. be cool yeah there's one on 205 live there was yeah, yeah. but yeah, it'd be complete chaos i like it <laughs> i like it too all right so up we have up next we have the main event yep aj styles versus brock lesnar yeah this is uh, a whole lot different than um gender versus? versus brock yeah uh-huh. so who do, who do you think is gonna win I don't see them having AJ win as much as I would like to see him win. Uh-huh. I, I think they're going to have Lesnar you think win. I gonna... think it's going to be a competitive match. Uh-huh. But You think that inevitably Brock will mm-hmm. overcome? Yeah. All right. I am actually going to pick AJ. Really? Yeah. It's the f- I know it seems short-sighted, but he is technically their future, and Brock Lesnar is their past. Yeah. Anytime I pick somebody I actually want to win a match, they lose. So. <laughs> I guess Try that's fair. Psychology. I guess that's fair. Yeah. Um. But AJ has such potential. Uh. Well, obviously, but I mean, like, to the stories for the the future, mm-hmm. that if they have him go over here, that makes it a lot easier to believe that Brock can lose to Roman at WrestleMania too. Yeah, but I think that's why they won't do it. I guess that's because fair. they want Brock to be the all-powerful beast yeah. that Roman finally conquers. Yeah, I guess. I mean, he's got to retire Kane along the way, too. You figure he's got to, I mean, that's his thing, retiring old men, so. That's true. And maybe that'll be Lesnar's path, too. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I kind of I kind of feel the underdog story, though. Oh, I'm, like I said, I want AJ yeah. to win, yeah, but I don't. So. And uh, ultimately, these WWE's predictions. Booking. Yeah, these predictions don't matter. Anyway, so. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. And like you said, every time... Uh, Lesnar wins a big match. He always puts over his opponent. Oh, you're just talking about with like him. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, but yeah, um, but yeah. Now we've differed on two matches. Very good. Woo. Sure. All right. Um, but yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's that, that's the whole show. Yeah, this is gonna be a uh, weekend full of wrestling. Yeah. Ho- hopefully, hopefully we get another hour long men's match yeah like we did last Mm -hmm. time that was a great match last year it was just hopefully shane doesn't get almost killed again yeah oh roman (laughs) it was just a weird spot yeah it's true but anyway that was our survivor series predictions video yes if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye